guys, how's it going? Laura with Garden Answer. Today I want to walk you through the process of planting potatoes. It's really easy and it's actually one of my favorite vegetables to plant because everything happens underground so you really don't know what you're going to get until you go into harvest. And now is a perfect time to get them in the ground. They like to be planted in the cool spring temperatures. So the first step is finding a spot that receives a lot of sunlight. So at least six to eight hours, uh, preferably all day sun if you can swing that. This is the raised bed where I'm planting mine and it does get all day sun. The second step is to make sure your soil is the right consistency. Potatoes like light and fluffy soil because they form their tubers or potatoes underground. They need room in order to grow and expand and to form nice big large potatoes. So you want to take your digging fork or your shovel and just work your soil up really nicely. If you have really heavy clay soil, I'd recommend, especially if you're planting potatoes, to garden in raised beds. That way you can control what kind of soil you have in there and you won't deal with that heaviness. The third step is to add a starter fertilizer to your soil. Potatoes do like fertile soil, so while you're in there working up the soil, it's a great time to add some in. I'm using the Espoma Organic Biotone, sprinkling it over the top and working it in with my hands. Uh, potatoes do like a pH between about five and six, but they're fairly adaptable and should produce a pretty good crop for you. However, if you have really high alkaline soil, it's a good idea to add in some sulfur into your soil to bring that pH down a little bit and the potatoes will do that much better. Step number five is to prep the potatoes. So if you look at the potatoes, you can see these little sprouts coming out. Those are called eyes. So if you have smaller potatoes, like say this size right here, you can just go ahead and plant them whole. There's just one eye on this potato. But if you've got larger potatoes with several eyes, you can cut the potatoes in pieces like I've done here. And then you wanna let them dry for maybe a day or two before you plant them. That way that cut part can heal over and it helps prevent rot. So we just wanna make sure there's at least one or two good eyes on each piece. Step number six is to plant. So here's how I do it. I dig trenches about four to six inches deep and then I place the potatoes eyes facing up about every eight to 12 inches. I plant them closer together in raised bed situations and a little bit further apart when they're in rows. Just keep in mind that more space equals more room for your potatoes to grow a little bit larger. So then I'm gonna go ahead and fill the trench in and in the end it should resemble pretty much the way it looked when we started planting. This raised bed is three feet wide by six feet long and I was able to do three trenches and fit 21 potatoes in here total. So that should give me a pretty nice harvest here in just like maybe about three or so months. I planted the variety called Yukon Gold, which I'm sure you're familiar with, and they take about 100 days to mature. So once the plants are about eight to 10 inches tall, I'll go in and kind of draw some of the soil from the sides around the plant and hill it up around or mound the soil up around the base of the plant. And that helps keep the plant a little bit cooler. Some longer season varieties of potatoes or indeterminate type potatoes might even produce a few more tubers if hilled up, making them a little bit better choice over the shorter season potatoes or determinate varieties for vertical gardening. Although I've had pretty mixed results with uh, vertical potato gardening, I found I get the best results just planting them traditionally in the ground. The the seventh step is to water and potatoes do like to be consistently watered especially during their flowering stage because that's when they're producing their tubers so keep your eyes out during that time. I usually give mine a deep soak about once or twice a week during the hottest part of the summer. I just like to make sure that the top one or two inches of soil dries out between watering so it might vary for you depending on your soil type and what climate you live in. If you live in a more mild climate you may not have to water as often. Of course this time of year when it's springtime it's a lot cooler I might be able to go 10 to 14 days between watering. I just keep my eyes on the consistency of the soil make sure it doesn't stay too wet because I don't want them to rot. This bed is actually going to eventually be hooked up to drip system I'm hoping in the next couple of weeks. We've got a uh, faucet in the corner here and we will do a video explaining all the details but basically what it is there's a, an adapter you can screw onto the faucet which attaches to drip tubing which I can run in this bed. So that's all there is to planting potatoes. It's pretty simple. Harvesting is really easy as well. The plants will tell you when it's time to harvest. Usually they'll start to yellow and kind of fall over and die back and then you'll know but of course, I know that these Yukon Gold potatoes are 100 day potatoes, so I should expect in about 100 days to be able to harvest. So that's a really good indicator too. I need to write it on the calendar so I could be watching for it. So that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.